Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in front of the weekly tip. And today's tip is actually about how you can go through and change your DBA logo or your DBA company name, just in case you may change market centers. Maybe your market center goes through, you know, an update. I know a bunch of offices have recently changed their DBA name or DBA logo. All right, so you'll definitely want to make sure that you update all those different locations with the new logo with the new name. Uh, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but in this case, where you'll need to update it. So first thing first, just going back to the basics to find the logos. It's pretty simple. We're going to go to mykw.kw.com and click on that marketing button in the top up here in this black bar. All right, this is going to take us, if you notice at the bottom left down here, whenever I hover over it, it's going to take us over to KW Connect for the marketing page. Here we go. So it's taking us directly to KW Connect. Perfect. And then we can actually just click on logos and branding on here too. All right, so once we click on logos and branding, all right, it's going to take us over to the logo page. Now we're going to scroll down past this information on here, and then there's going to be a second section that'll say Market Center Logos. Now this is also going to have some Business Center Logos too, in case your office has that set up. So I'm going to use one that I, I know of on here. So if I type inside the Market Center number and Market Center name, all right, it'll pop up where you can actually view the Market Center. All right, so in this case, Lake Norman on here, or you can actually view the Business Centers too, if they happen to have that linked up. Now, if you're not seeing your market center on here, all right, then the office will just need to reach out to the red label. All right, so red label at kdb.com, and then that way they can actually have a new DBA logo created for them. Because the cool part is you can click the download option over here to download all types of that logo. All right, or I could literally just click the preview option on here. All right, and then once I'm previewing this, I could just right click on it and save that image as as well so I can save that immediately. All right, so that's how we can actually get the logo just to start on here. All right, but now that we have the logo, where are we going to add that in? Where are we going to add inside our DBA name? All right, so there's going to be a couple different locations. So I'm going to start with the, the older one on eEdge, just in case that's, you know, if it's still active, obviously you want to make sure if anyone goes to the page that people are seeing the proper information. All right, so to update that one, we're going to click on any of these four options in this eEdge control panel. All right, so even if you're not utilizing the eEdge side, if it is active on here, we definitely want to make sure it's compliant. All right, so I'll click on like this new listings option and take us to the back end of the eEdge control panel. And what we're going to do is at the top right, we're going to click on my account to start. And we're going to, sorry, we're going to click on account and then we're going to go to my account. <laughs> All right, well, technically I'm clicking on my account because it is the account at the top right. All right, but I'm going to click on my account now. All right, this is going to take us to the back end of our account section on eEdge where this information will populate. All right, and once we do that, if you notice on the left-hand side, we're going to have Office Info. All right, so once I click on Office Info on here, I'm going to select that, and I can update the company name. So all I have to do is click this Edit option over here. All right, now I can update that company name immediately. All right, so once we've updated that, then obviously click Save. Now, if you are still utilizing your marketing pieces on eEdge, if you're sending out any campaigns or creating pieces on here too, all right, then you'll want to click on the My Images option right below Office Info. All right, so then we're literally going to go down and click on My Images. All right, and now you can actually add inside the marketing logo. All right, so if you want to update that logo on here, you can, or you can add inside your Office logo on here too for the About page. All right, so both of these locations may need to have that new logo added in unless you obviously have you know, your own custom logo or anything of that sort. All right, so these are two sections you want to update it on here. And then, of course, if you are still using your eEdge website, or obviously it's still live on here, want to make sure that's updated properly. Um, you obviously want to avoid fines and everything of that sort. All right, there's a new place for this now. So if we click on the website option up here at the top, and we go to edit site, that first option down. All right, so we're going to click on edit site. All right, so now over on the left-hand side, we can actually see all of our information, and we're going to click on Appearance, all right, that first option on here. It's taking us to where we can view the pages for the eEdge site, but we're going to click on Appearance instead. All right, and this is where we can change our website logo. So you can actually click on Change Logo on here. You'll see some general KW logos like they've always had, or you can upload your own. Now, the main difference on here is previously it had to be a specific size of about 230 for the width. Now it doesn't matter. All right, so now you can have a maximum size of 15 megabytes. So you can just select and obviously upload that photo immediately on here and click the upload button. All right, so this is for the previous eEdge backend, just to make sure that's up and running. So if you are still utilizing that, this will help you out. 
Now for the newer items on command, once you're inside command back over here, there's a couple different locations we want to pay attention to. All right, so first thing first, let's click on our name at the top right, and we're going to go to settings. All right, so we're going to go to that third option down and click on settings real quick. All right, here we go. Now once we click on the settings option, let me sign back in real quick. If that ever happens, just re-log back in. You'll be good to go. All right, so let me click back on settings again. Perfect. I'm going to accept these real quick. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to click on Connect Settings on the left-hand side. And then the only option that will pop up, or, you know, the drop-down, basically, the Marketing Profile. All right, so we're going to click on Marketing Profile. Now, this is where we can go through and update our logo and our office name. All right, so if I scroll down a little bit further, as you can see, we're going to have the team info on here. But even further down, we're going to have our Market Center brokerage information. All right, so on here we can add inside our Market Center logo by clicking that Upload button. The recommended size is 360 by 360, and if you need help resizing the logo to fit that, just let us know. We have a bunch resized for you guys. But then on the right-hand side, we actually happen to have our Market Center brokerage name. Now, this information is going to auto-populate over on some of your marketing pieces, especially like the landing pages, those smart plans, and also on that IDX site for you, too. So updating these two items will be very crucial specifically for, you know, branding on here to make sure that you're compliant. Now, once you update that, then we can scroll to the very bottom and click that save option down here. All right. So we'll scroll to the very bottom and click save. All right, and then that'll automatically save this for us. All right. So that's the biggest place to update this in the back end. But one other place that you may want to update it too, just to make it simpler for you is in your designs. All right, so if we click on the Designs option over here on the left-hand side, it just pop that out to make it easier to view what Design says. All right, so if we click on Designs on here, it's going to show all of our previously viewed designs or any previously saved ones. All right, but if you don't happen to have any on here, no worries. We'll just click the plus sign over here at the bottom right. All right, and then I'm going to click on Social. All right, so that way I can actually save this over to you, kind of our, our main Uploads category. All right, so I'm going to click on social, I'll click next, and then literally view any of these on here. You can also click on the library option on the right-hand side. All right, and as you can see, once we click on our library, now we're going to have our little branding kit that will pop up on here. So this is what's going to automatically display for us. So I already have this filled out, but if I get rid of Scott Leroy Marketing on here, if you notice, I can put inside my company name. All right, so I'll put that back in. All right, for our company details. Once again, we can update the phone number, all the different fun stuff on here. All right, but there's even a section on here, too, where we can add inside images. There we go. Or even logos as well. So once again, we can actually store these logos so we can add them over to our marketing pieces very quickly. All right, because once we actually have this saved, all right, then if we actually click on any of these to use it and we want to add inside text or add inside a logo or an image, that new information will auto-populate for us right away. All right, so that'll help us to get all this information up and running. So remember, just clicking on this library option up here at the top right will help you out tremendously. So there you go. So that is the simplest way in case you transfer to a new market center, maybe you're in multiple market centers, or your market center just has a DBA logo or name change. All right, this will help to update that immediately. So there you go. So that is your tech tip for the day.